Hey friends of the channel, it is Friday, June 30th, and as always, I have more MLB picks today, and as always, I'm trying to turn $2 into $32,000, so make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for free MLB best bets each and every day, and while you're at it, smash that like button for another winner yesterday with the Houston Astros putting up a 14 spot for an easy money line winner. Without further ado though, let's dive into today's matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. Red Sox might end up having their worst season in a long time and even with that said, they have the same record at the moment as the first place Minnesota Twins. The unfortunate news is that the Boston Red Sox do not play in the AL Central, they play in the AL East, and they are sitting in last place after losing five straight games. They're going to have James Paxton on the mound today, who's 3-1 with a 3.19 ERA and a 1.02 whip. Most of this guy's success, however, has come at home. Although all his wins have been on the road, he does have an ERA over four. Paxton primarily is a fly ball pitcher who has given up six home runs in his last eight starts, but he should definitely be tested a little bit more here tonight against a Blue Jays fifth-ranked MLB offense. Now, speaking of the Blue Jays, they only find themselves five games ahead of the Boston Red Sox in the AL East. That is, though, good enough to actually be in a wild card spot at the moment. That just tells you how bad the other teams are in the AL at the moment. Jose Barrios will take the mound tonight. He's got a 3.60 ERA and a 1.22 whip. He's been great at home. Uh, he has a 4-1 record there with a 2.48 ERA. And he has held opponents to two or fewer runs in eight out of his last ten starts. And he relies heavily on that ground ball. That is going to be great tonight against this Red Sox team. The Red Sox, like the Blue Jays, although they are in the top ten in offense, the Blue Jays are going to have a Red Sox team that grounds out the six most in the league. So Berrios is going to be a heavy ground ball pitcher again tonight. Now this is going to be an interesting game in my opinion with both of these starting pitchers. They both have good stuff and they can border on great stuff. But they're also facing very good offenses as both of these teams average over 4.5 runs per game. Now I think Paxton is actually going to get hit hard tonight. The last time he faced a halfway decent offense was on May 24th where he gave up five earned runs to the LA Angels over just three innings pitched. He is a worse pitcher on the road, and I can see the Blue Jays tonight tagging this guy for four or five runs. Now, the Red Sox might not get to Barrios in the same way, but he is most likely going to give up a home run, as he has done so in three of his last four starts. And with both teams' bullpens being mediocre and a little depleted at the moment, I can see this as a 3-3 ball game in the seventh inning get blown up to a 6-5 win for one of these teams. So with my best bet tonight, I am going to fade Paxton and the bullpen and take over nine runs. Now that brings me to my streak challenge where I'm trying to turn $2 into $32,000. Will I do it? Absolutely not. Yesterday, Brandon Drury went one for four and our streak of lonely singles continues as we start over at day number one again. 14 days, 14 MLB prop bets, one goal, 32K. Today, I'm going with Kettle Marte, over 1.5 total bases. Marte and the Diamondbacks, they have been playing great ball with the exception of the last two games. But Marte has eight hits in his last seven games, 17 hits in his last 13 games, and that includes five home runs. Tonight, I think he gets the Diamondbacks back on track, and we get right back to day number two. Feel free to join me on this streak. Let's see if we both can't hit $32,000 together. Will we? Probably not, but fun to try. In the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy a Friday night full of MLB baseball, and I will see you tomorrow with another MLB Best Bet.